good morning I'm in the Mourn Mountains this morning um, this is the first time I've been here probably in about six months just with uh, Covid and the lockdown so the restrictions have been eased here in Northern Ireland and there's now no longer a stay at home message so you're able to travel about a bit and uh, I haven't wild camped since last November this is the middle of April so I, I'm doing a wild camp tonight for the first time uh, in six months so um, it's actually be a bit nervous for the pain out again <laughs> um, I just felt up being used to it and doing things for so long but it's a beautiful day um, not much of a breeze and uh, tonight's to be nice and, and tomorrow as well so that's why I've picked this sort of um, couple of days so I, I have a plan I have a route um, and I'm starting in the village of Attical which is somewhere I've never been to before so as you can see if uh, there's parking here at the GAA grounds and um, I'm heading up Sandy Bray here which is going to take me up into the mountains and uh, I'm going to climb up firstly Eagle Mountain and I'll, I'll see where I go with a rough idea but uh, that'll maybe change and I'll see how fit I am uh, and uh, I'll, I'll just camp down wherever I feel tonight so yeah looking forward to uh, getting out while camping again after so long So the ground here in the morns, you can see this is what it's usually like, so it's pretty rough with uh, big boulders on these lower slopes of the hills. But if you look over here, you can see that the farmers have been sort of reclaiming the land. And they're working down there, lifting the boulders out of the fields. And it really does turn it into to something quite different. And what do they do with the boulders? They build these really cool walls um, made from worn granite. And you can see that the walls are all over here um, and they're actually quite substantial and really really impressive so i've followed the sandy bray lane up and I've got the here, so there's a wee access issue here. This lane, uh, this bit of lane is private, but that's okay because um, there's, there's, there's a way round, and that's, that's been sorted out. And there's a styling on there, so I'll just, I'll just go around this house uh, and then I'll, I'll rejoin the track on up. Um, and we've uh, a couple of guys here that are busy munching away on, on, on some nice grass and enjoying the nice weather. Just to give you another sense of uh, the reclamation of the land here. Look at all these lovely mourn granite boulders just, just everywhere. And again, look, look at these green fields. Um, just they, they sort of look out, of, I always think they look a wee bit out of place up here. But you, you can, again, you can see all the, all the stones and boulders that have been lifted out have, have gone into making these fantastic walls to keep the sheep in <laughs> I'm back on the track again so it was just a wee short detour around that house and that wee bit of private lane so um, pretty easy to uh, negotiate so I'm in western morns today I'm there fairly quiet I don't come here that often and I'm following this track up. That's the windy gap up there. 
and those two mountains, that's Eagle Mountain and that's Sleeve Mugen Moor. Um, see, there's a track right up to the Windy Cap. I'm going to climb up the side of Eagle Mountain. And there's a really cool walk up along the cliffs right up to the summit. That's a far better walk. Um, you, you see the ravens and peregrine vulcans up there. Or, well, you maybe hear me to see them. Um, and this is Pigeon Rock Mountain. We're all the way up here. And I've actually camped up there, up on the top, and, and that was a really cool camp. Uh, that was probably a couple of years ago. So the climb starts, and this will really tell uh, where my fitness is at. You can see with a bit of height up here on the way up towards the top of Eagle Mountain you've got these big sort of crags and cliffs uh, which are absolutely fantastic to be walking above uh, and just fantastic views down into the, the valley floor that I was walking up there there and no wonder you've got the like of uh, ravens and peregrine falcons up here absolutely stunning There's Eagle Mountain, pretty damn impressive I think, uh, and you can just see the sheer sides there uh, dropping off, absolutely fantastic, and even looking down there, uh, you can see there's uh, some steep crags and gullies on the way up, um, so it's just a matter of making the way around fairly gently and easily up to the top, uh, which shouldn't take too long, but uh, it's still an absolutely stunning day. Uh, I, I did take my jacket off. It's it's hard to know at times when the breeze is blowing. It's it's pretty cool, but we, when you've a bit of shelter, it's absolutely roasting. But that's just uh, spring for you, I think. This is the summit of Eagle Mountain. And you can see it's got really cracking views over to the, the bigger eastern uh, Mourne Mountains. Really cool. Here we are in the uh, Windy Gap, so this is the gap between Eagle Mountain and Sleeve uh, Mugen Moor. So uh, there's a wee bit of wind today, <laughs> not too much, but I, I've certainly been here before where, it, where it sort of the wind would have cut right through you. Um, so it was steep enough coming down there, and uh, there's a steep old hall as I say up there. Uh, it's all good. I've heard a few voices floating about. Um, sometimes I think I hear things. Um, so I think there's a few other people knocking about today, but uh, I haven't really seen anyone. A wee bit of shelter here, just um, at the summit of Sleeve uh, Mugen Moor out of the wind. There's a real biting wind that's got up um, in the past hour or so. Really, really cold. Um, so there's fantastic views here uh, over to Spelg uh, Reservoir and over to um, Cock and Hen Mountain. Hen Mountain's a really cool uh, wee mountain. It's only about 300 metres but it's uh, probably got uh, some of the best character of, of all the mountains here in the morning. And you can still see over to the, the, the bigger hills in the morns. So I, I, I don't have a clue where I'm going to stop for tonight. Uh, <laughs> I'm probably not making very uh, much progress. 
so um, I'll, I'll keep thinking about that but I have the bivvy bag and I can pretty much um, go down anywhere. It's half four. Um, I've been up over Eagle Mountain, uh, Sleeve, Mugan Moor, and Pigeon Rock. And then I was hemming and hawing about well, where am I going to go now? So I, I could have went on over Pigeon Rock and, and camped where I camped before, or I could have went high up Sleeve Muck, which is quite a climb. <laughs> um, and, then, and then I had a bright idea to sort of go the valley the other side of the Windy Gap which is down in there and there's there's a cool river down in there so I'm going to camp low for a change uh, and I'm going to camp beside a river which means I can make loads of cups of tea uh, <laughs> and there's nothing better than that So I've bought something new, um, I've had an old army bivvy bag for about probably 10 years, an enormous big thing, uh, you probably could have fitted two people on it, and I was very good at keeping uh, any wet out, uh, even trying to proof it, it didn't, uh, I think it's just uh, had, its, had its time. So I've bought um, an Alpkit Al Honka bivvy bag. So it was uh, 50 quid, which uh, I, th I thought was a, a pretty good price for what I need. Um, and I just need to be able to, to lie out and give him a sleeping bag a wee bit of, out of protection. Um, maybe it was a wee bit of dew or, or moisture or what have you. Um, so I'm, I'm trying that out here uh, this evening or tonight for, for the first time to, to, to see how it works. Uh, but I'm liking the look of it. It's, it's uh, tighter. Um, I've, I've also read that some people put their sleep mat on the outside. I usually put it on the inside. So I'm, I'm trying that this evening as well. I'm, I'm, the sleep mat's uh, out, outside of the bivvy bag. And then I've got the bivvy bag and uh, the sleeping bag inside. So we'll see how that works. Hopefully it'll work well. And I'll have a comfy night. I think I will. I've got a nice wee spot here um, beside the river. It's nice and flat. Um, so I, I, I think I, I think it'll be a pretty good spot, uh, and I'll, I'll I'll let you know in the morning uh, how the bivy bag sort of performed and how I felt inside it. beet noodles <laughs> they're like 20p a packet uh, I use two packets and they just take a couple of minutes to cook and then I throw in a tin of tuna um, keep them cheerful uh, it's, it's not <laughs> there's nothing gourmet about it 
but uh, it's quick and it gives me the energy that I thought I need. So yeah, good looks for me. Definitely can't beat land in a bit of it. Uh, just staring up at the clouds. The clouds are starting to clear a bit. You can see. Uh, just staring up at the clouds passing by. There's a, a crescent moon which has just appeared. Um, I think there'll be uh, some sort of cloud cover tonight. So. Uh, Hopefully, it won't get too cold. Um, but I've got the sound of the, the river just about 20 feet away from me as well. Um, and nice wee breeze, so just you can just lay like this all day. <laughs> It was a cool one last night, uh, even with the breeze and the very dry air there was still a bit of frost about, so um, yeah, <laughs> um, I had a fairly decent night's sleep, um, I was warm enough, I did the old trick of putting the gloves uh, over my feet, because uh, I had cold toes and cold hands, um, a hunk of, uh, yeah, pretty good. Um, I, I like that it's a lot um, sort of a, a, a tighter fit than the old army bivy bag, so it's, it, it feels a bit more snug. Um, it was dry, so I, I, I don't know how it performed, it was a wee bit sort of more damp, uh, but I'm sure I'll test that at some stage. Uh, so it's a lovely morning, uh, the clouds disappeared during the night, uh, the stars come out. I was sitting watching the satellites whizzing across in different directions, which was absolutely amazing. Um, so it's a matter of getting some tea, a uh, bit of breakfast, getting packed up and, and getting away. It, and it is still absolutely freezing at the minute, um, but it's all good. <laughs> all packed up. As you can see, uh, nobody should know that I've been here, so leave no trace. I've had my tea, I've had my weed uh, The sun has come up and uh, it's just lifted the temperatures way, way up and made it feel uh, pretty pleasant from the, from the real cold that it was there. there. So uh, I'm heading back up in that direction from uh, where I came yesterday. I'll go up to one of the calls uh, that I passed through yesterday and that'll take me back down to the other valley, back, back to where I parked.
uh, absolutely stunning morning. Uh, not a cloud in the sky. Uh, the wind, the wind isn't too bad down here. It might be a bit different higher up, but uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant. There's a different view of uh, Eagle Mountain. So I walked up along that whole ridge yesterday, and it's probably one of the most airy walks that you can get in the moors. Pretty safe, well, very safe. Those who don't get too near the edge, um, but I just think it's an absolutely cracking walk. Um, and this wee river that I'm coming down off, I've never walked along here before. So uh, some really cool exploring. Uh, well for the first trip. So for my first trip out in what, maybe six months, I don't think I've done too bad. Um, my shoulders are really feeling ca carrying the, the full pack, really feeling that. Uh, my legs are sort of okay, but then when you're filming, you're sort of, you're not moving that fast. So uh, we'll see if the legs are okay tomorrow. But it's actually a fantastic couple of days. Um, really cool to be out in the hills again. Um, really cool to be out camping again. The new bivy bag really pleased with it, and uh, it's only 340 grams, so that's basically my tent, and you wouldn't even know you had it in your in your pack. So that's that's fantastic. If the conditions are right, if, if it's dry and there's a bit of a breeze, so the midges don't get you. Um, but yeah, it's good, good to be back at it, and hopefully a lot more to come.